Yo, what is good, already, my boys? Back here with another LC narration. Now, real Unmon hours have started as we see some trapping boys. As I have the video paused right now because Doc had to re uh, replay the first few turns, so I don't want this like I don't want these first few turns just playing in hyper speed. First, I want to talk about these teams for a little bit as a sort of team preview. Now, we do see some regen boys on Hayseup's part. We do see a nice uh, double trap core potentially if this is Magnapult, uh Magnemite, but we also see him now. Who is this? <laughs> like, the honest question is, who is this? Now, uh, I saw this and I did some research beforehand. Um, this is basically like Axew, but it gets bulk up, which is like its niche, I guess, and it's a bit fatter than Axew. It has like a bit more defense, right? And it has overcoat, so it's immune, immune to spore from, from big fungus. So I would assume this would be like some bulky bulk up set with maybe like rest or some shit like that. Then uh, you have Diglett on deck. Then you have, I think, uh, Magnipole Magnemite to remove steel types for this. And they get to remove other types uh, of Pokemon. So I think this is just setting up to be a Jangma O sweep with some supporting Pokemon. So the supporting cast being Mianfu, Fungus, and Vullaby. It's just like some leftover Pokemon here. Now on Jake's side, we do have some boys as well. We do have a potential double trap, although I think it will be Berry Juice Recycle, actually. Actually, it could be Berry Juice Recycle on Hayseb's part as well. We don't know yet. Uh, I think Magnapole makes a lot of sense to remove fire types for my man Jangmo O, though. Uh, or fire types mean steel types for my man Jangmo O. Although, I guess Ursi can do that as well. What am I saying? Uh, Diglett can do that as, as well, uh, but it can't remove Ferrocede as <laughs> as nicely as what I was trying to say. But uh, on Jake's side, we see the only steel type being Big Magnemite. So Magnet hours have indeed started. We see Double Magnet right here. We also see like almost every single Pokemon being similar. On Jake's side, the Rocker is definitely going to be the Tortuga. Z-Move could be on either Wingle or the Diglett. doesn't really matter too much. Well, I guess it matters, but it doesn't really... Can't, you can't really tell from Team Preview as far as I can see. Let's just hop right into this. This is going to be like hyper-fast mode. So we see Mianfu on Mianfu action. So we're going to see Fake Out. Uh, we see Hayseup's man out speeding. So it either means it's fast or it's a tie. Uh, this knockoff shows that it is actually tied between two Mianfus as it's just knock each other off. So that's nice to know. Now, neither really wants to stay in. Actually, I was going to say neither wants to stay in, but they actually do both want to stay in. What am I saying? So, they both go for the U-turn. Uh, Jake gets a little bit unlucky right there by getting the fast U-turn as Hazeup can just get a f uh, free... Ooh, I, I was going to say, can get a free um, free slow one, but Jake makes a god play and goes hard Diglett. So, if this is Scarf or anything like that, this is a, this man is trapped. But if it's Scarf, I don't think Electric moves the play, so I'm assuming this will be better just recycle. Because there's no way this is the play otherwise. Yep, alright, it is. So he can just hit him with the hit him with the flash cannon right here. Do some chip. If you flash cannon there, he could have actually gotten away with this a lot easier. Now he can just spam uh, recycle actually. And eventually, I think uh, let's just see PP. I think Doc might check PP if he's a, a good uh, a good recorder. But I don't know. Can they trade like all or quick PP for all recycle PP? So it's still 13 on EQ. Um, after. Uh, they have the same PP, right? So they can technically trade all EQ PP for all recycle PP, and then. Diglett can't really hit it, but then Hayseup doesn't have any recycles uh, left, so Hayseup just decides that it's worth it to kill the Diglett, but now he's just going to have to sack this to Wingle, because he doesn't really have the best Wingle answers, like he doesn't really have a solid switch in, so he's just going to have to sack his one HP Magnemite here, and again, go back to something else, that's a play I heavily disagree with, why would you do that? Oh, that's a fat, oh yeah, okay, right, that's that's rough, but that's an unplay right there, I don't know why you would save Magnemite there. Uh, yeah, sorry for being a bit, like, <laughs> a bit, like, I don't know, shit-talking, but, like, that's unplay number one. Like, why would you go hard into Mianfu on a Scald Risk the burn? Especially because you don't have a Violet, right? If it was a Violet, it could at least eat the attack up. Uh, but also, another thing here is, why even do this? Because you go to Mianfu on the, on the Wingle, right? Like, I guess it works if he U-turns. I guess that was, like, the, the purpose of it. But, um... That doesn't really make... I guess it works on the U-turn, but what if he just Scald? Like, why would you send in your Mianfu on a potential Scald? That's going to do, like, 50. I think 50 was about, like, the, the de a decent roll right here. Because uh, you don't have an Violet. Risk the burn. I don't just don't think that's worth it. Oversaving a 1% Magnemite. That's not even going to do too much this matchup. Like, it's, like, alright to have. Like, it's not useless or anything, but it's not even that amazing, this game. Like, fodder is always nice, but uh, just having to sack your Mianfu. Yeah, now you just have to sack Mianfu, so... That was a really risky play by Hayseup, and it did not work out at all. So he just had to sack his Mianfu right there for, uh, I was going to say no reason, but I guess he just because he got the prediction right wrong. So that was like a, that was like a, that was like a high risk, low reward play right there. So now he can go out into Volibee and Wingle has to switch out being scared of the Scarf. And he can just hit a U-turn or a knockoff, whatever he likes. I think U-turn is the better play though. I guess U-turn works if he wants to stay in or if the Wingle wants to stay in. This is what I mean. Actually, uh, Jay can just hit Protect on the first... Actually, I was going to say he can hit the Protect, but he has to be scared of Nasty Plot as well. 
So knockoff comes out, hits the Tortuga right on the nose. Now what this Tortuga can do is hit that rocks. Uh, I think you go Magnemite here, predicting. All right, so what I'm thinking is you go Magnemite here, predicting the rocks because rocks are pretty obvious here. So you go Magnemite here, predicting the rocks. If he attacks, that's fine because you can just get into your other Pokemon later. But if he gets up the rocks, Magnemite is dead because either you don't have removal or remove is on the Vullaby. And with your Vullaby, you just want to spam knock and use her in this game. So you really don't have time for defog. I really don't have time to be giving up momentum like that. So I think sacking the 1 HP Magnemite is finally the play here or just switching out into it. That would work really, really well if the rocks come up. I guess it wouldn't. I guess you just uh, get momentum over that. So I think Magnemite's the play here. Fungus could also work. Actually, yeah, I don't think Fungus is that big of a play. Because uh, if he hits hard knockoff, I, I th actually think rocks are always the play for Jake here. So I think Magnemite's the play for Haysup. Yeah, as he, he does just have his Magnemite as fodder. I mean, I guess it was fodder anyway. Uh, but at least this way, you at least get some momentum out of it into Magnemite. Uh, like, the thing is, he had his ma if he had his Magnemite in versus the uh, this, the Tortuga, he could have vaulted. Nothing. Look at this team. Who wants to take a vault? Especially if it's analytic. Who wants to take that? The only thing that even wants to take it is Magnemite, but that just gets trapped by Diglett after. I really do not get this play. Like, I yeah, I don't get it whatsoever. Now, Jay can just uh, sack his Tortuga to try to knock this off, or he can go hard into his uh, bird. I actually does uh, sack this off to... Oh, is that actually the hard Giga Drain comes out. So I guess he was uh, predicting the Sludge Bomb slash just trying to knock this Fungus off. So if the Sludge Bomb came out, that it would have been great for Jake. But Haysub just clicks a safe Giga Drain and gets rewarded for that. Now Jake can just go out hard into his big Vullaby or Wingo, whatever one of the birds. Both work. Uh, both are very scary to Haysub's team. And whatever bird comes out, he finally has to sack this Magnemite that <laughs> has cost him so much. Uh, I don't I don't really get Haysub's plays uh, with his Magnemite at all. Right, because I'm missing something like that below in the comments for sure if I'm just a noob and it's just two <laughs> it's just two AM and it's just a tired tired boy hours. Um so uh, yeah, he just has a sag magma here. He doesn't have another play, he doesn't have braver switchings at all. And this is looking hella over already. Uh, I don't think Jingmo wants to come in because he doesn't want to get knocked off, assuming it's a violet. Because if it's Z move, why would you even run it over Axu if it's like an offensive breaker? I assume it's going to be some bulky boy because otherwise Axu is just better in all ways. I, except for like worse abilities because this can have uh, bulletproof against Ghastly's Shadow Ball and um, Fungus's Sludge Bomb. Or it can have Overcoat against Fungus's Spore. So, um, <laughs> what is Jake saying? <laughs> going to use him. You got to tell me what he does. But yeah. I assume this is going to be a bulk upset because I just looked it up beforehand. I was I was trying to puzzle, figure it out what this mod even does. Um, but yeah, apparently that's what it does. So he doesn't want to take this knockoff at all. Jake should just knock off here because this is the only real threat left on Haysup's team. He should just knock off in a U-turn if he has that. Or uh, if the Jangmo O goes for DD, he just... Actually, that's a bit hard, I guess. Um, if he, Yeah, I think knockoff is always the play, though. Because there's no way this is Z-Move. Like, why would this even be Z-Move? I assume the Z-Move is going to be on Diglett. And this should be a Violet, because otherwise, like I already said, like, twice already, this shouldn't be uh, Z-Move at all. So, <laughs> some nice Finchinator hate getting tossed around in the chat. Very delightful. Um, yeah, overall, I think Haysup is fucked anyway. He should just go for his uh, setup move, especially if that's bulk up. He just clicked that right here, because he went out into this anyway. Uh, and I'm not blaming him for going out into this anyway, because, like, he doesn't have another play, but still. Uh, if he is Dragonium Z for whatever reason, if that kills, he clicks it here. As actually, Jake goes for the hard user, not wanting to risk anything on this Vullaby, which I guess does make sense because this Vullaby does like 6 0 from here. <laughs> like, it, like obviously, there's no 6 Pokemon, but it 4 0s or 3 0s when this is weakened. So he goes hard to Magnemite. As the Bulk Up comes out now, uh, this, I don't know exactly what speed this Pokemon has, but assume, I assume that it's bulky, so I assume Magnemite's just going to get this out speed. Throw off a Flash Cannon, which should do a fair amount. Now, if this is rest, he might be able to beat this 1v1. Uh, I don't know how fat it is exactly, but this is why I think knockoff was the play, because then you already you know this boy Magmite's going to 1v1 this piece of shit Mag... Or, you already know, um, yeah, Magmite's going to 1v1 this unmanging mo -O on my screen right now. So, Jake should just hit that Flash Cannon. Um, gets a crit, which sucks. Ooh, gets a spit F drop, and the rest. Yeah, that really sucks. This is over now. Oh, that sucks so bad. I wanted to see Jake Moho put in work. That's That's really lame. That just sucks. He could have actually beaten this 1v1. Now, the thing is, he couldn't really because Flash Cannon would just fish for spit F drops. Now, obviously, you could say this is lame. I would agree. I would agree this is lame, but it does around 30, so he would be forced to, like, spam rest, basically. And, um, the spit F drop would come eventually, and this, like, Magnemite, if, if it is 30, it would eat any hit, even if it is, um, 
even if it has anything to hit the Magnemite as he just sacks his Fungus off instead of his um, sleeping gym. Well, I guess if it's sleep talk, it makes sense to keep that boy around. Now we can just go to Diglett to try to revenge kill this. But if there's a Scarf, he get, just gets molested anyway. If this is sturdy, he gets molested. Like, he just does not have a win condition anymore. Uh, overall, I think sacking Mianfu early didn't make sense to me. Um, not going Magnemite that one turn to grab some momentum didn't make sense to me. Overall, I think Hesha played the early game a bit shakily. I'm, <laughs> I'm <laughs> I mean, he's the one playing a snake, not me. But yeah, it is 30 juice on both sides. Um, so that's interesting. So no trap hours, I guess. But yeah, I, uh, this is just over, man. Because Jengmo oh, can't do it anymore. Uh, I don't think Jengmo could have done it anyway. Especially not with knockoff support. Uh, which I think Jake should have clicked, I guess. Uh, but u was just a safe play in case it was the move. So I get Jake's play 100%. But I would have definitely clicked knockoff earlier. Uh, on the turn where he had his Vellaby and versus Jengmo. Oh, but yeah, this is over. It is sleep talk, but now the Brave Bridge is going to come out, kill this. And then the Diglett shouldn't even have a move to kill this. And then Brave Bridge should just kill the Diglett off as well. So this is GG over. Uh, big over, man. Overall, very, very short game. Especially with the um, first turns going really fast because of Doc's narration. So, um, this man hits Z, Z downpour. Who is this? Dude, Hesa brought some heat. Like, what is a Z downpour? What does that even hit? I guess it hits fairies. You can remove fairies for Jingmo. That actually makes a whole bunch of sense. Yeah, that, that actually makes a lot of sense. You have knockoff support from both Volibi and Mianfu. Um, uh, onto fairies, and then, <laughs> like, Snubble and um, Spritzy, and then you just U turn out with both of them into Diglett. You hit that downpour, and Jingmo has a field day. Um, I would have loved to see Hay sub win with Jingmo plus I said downpour Diglett. Uh, he just didn't have. There was like no fairy to trap, unfortunately. There was no Jengmo pulling up with the win. So that's quite unfortunate. I'll just let this play out. I'll just let uh, Hesup's Mon go down here. Hope you still enjoyed the commentary, even though it was pretty short. There has been like six LC games today, so I will be over flooding this channel with some LC commentaries. So, um, in my last days of summer break, should have not reminded Matt. So I'm not reminding myself of that now. I'm depressed again. Very delicious. Hope you guys enjoy your day. Have a uncle day and drink some Slurpees because uh, that keeps you hydrated. You know, I'm just, yeah, just throwing that out there.